Hey, hey, welcome back, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. I have a doozy, as always, for you, okay? I'm going to give you scripture, truth, and reality. But the way I'm going to teach you, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to tell you the truth by asking the question, what if? What if? How dreams become reality? Pay close attention because we're going to go into something that I believe every nation, every race, creed, color, religion, everyone needs to see this or have the opportunity to hear the content of this message. So if you are blessed by it, share it, spread it around so others can be blessed also. Once again, I'm going to teach it as a question, what if? Let's continue. What if the image we all thought was Jesus is actually Caesar Borgia, the gay love of da Vinci, and we've been worshiping and following a homosexual who we were told was Christ? Now, this will be found in the Apocrypha. I'm going to give you biblical evidence that back up everything that I'm telling you and showing you. This will be found in the Apocrypha. Uh, it's in the 1611 King James Version. Also, the Apocrypha that you may find that it's not inside that book. Uh, it is found in the Wisdom of Solomon. 1415, chapter 14, verse 15 through 31. It explains what I'm talking about. Okay? What if? This is why we have the homosexual spirit, child molestation, and pedophilia running rapid in the modern day church. What if? What if this is the image that black people was worshiping? It didn't matter what the color or we was wanting to do is love God and spread his message. It didn't matter what color he was or is. But in actuality, what if this is actually Caesar Borgia, who was painted by da Vinci, who was also da Vinci's gay lover? What if? What if this guy was actually telling the truth about what he stated about those that call themselves Jews? What if he was telling you the truth about these people? What if you've been lied to about the so-called Jews and they are actually the ones spoken of in Luke 21? 24 and Revelations 2 9 and 3 9. What if? What if they are actually Ashkenazi Jews from the Khazam and the Caucasus Mountains? These are the Caucasus Mountains right here. Caucasus, this is their homeland that God gave them. Okay? What if? that these very same people are actually from one of the sons of Goma in Genesis 10, verse 3. Like I tell you, always have your Bible, write these scriptures down and go along with this message. You might have to go back and look at it again and follow along with your Bible because it's scripture that backs this up. Everything that I'm showing you. 
Okay, what if they are actually from one of the sons of Goma in Gen Gen uh, Genesis 10, 3, and founder of one of the tribes of Japheth, a Japhetic race, mentioned in Jeremiah 51, 27, Genesis 10, 3, once again, and 1 Chronicles 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 6, and Jeremiah 51, 27. What if? What if Kaisaria and what if the Ashkenazi is in the Bible? If you look at those scriptures, it'll tell you the names of these people. Okay? What if this was wiped off the face of the map so you won't know who they are? What if this is actually the modern day map where you see Kazaria is no longer on it? What if there's a great lie being told through the other races that did what they did to God's true children? What if? Here you see the caucus, the great caucus, okay, the Black Sea. Once again, no Kazaria, no Eskenazi. They took it off the map, so you don't know who these people are as if they just disappeared. What if they are still here? Their descendants are still here. What if? What if this man, once again, was telling the truth about another people? What if this man right here actually found out that he had African DNA, which is E1B1B1? He has African hyplogroup in his DNA, and that is African, not Semitic. There's a difference between the African hyplogroup and the Hebrew Israelite, the real true Jews of the Bible, hyplogroup. And I'm going to point that out to you. What if? What if? Let's go back. What if he was telling you the truth about these people? That America has the Jews of God. What if the people described in Deuteronomy 28, 68 are actually Judah, the lost sheep, also known as the lost tribe? What if they have been brought back into Egypt, which means bondage? Uh, excuse me. <coughs> what if they've been brought back into Egypt, which means bondage? What if America is Egypt and Judah who are scattered are the African Americans. The Africans, what if, sold the Israelites? What if? What if the Europeans bought the Israelites from the African? Okay, let's continue. <coughs> what if these people who were slaves during that time, what if E1B1A is a haplogroup found only in the DNA of Hebrew Israelites and is traced back to the Levitical priest and Aaron, Moses' brother, not in Africa, but in Jerusalem. Trace all the way back to the Levitical priest. What if? These are the true descendants of Aaron, Moses, Abraham's true descendants. What if? These are the true people that the Bible is speaking of. What if? What if during this 
pandemic what if in the midst of the pandemic this COVID-19 virus the Black Lives Matter protest was a setup to bring in a crime-free society where a treaty will be signed between the people of color and leaders. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 What if the Black Lives Matter was a protest to actually bring in a crime-free society? Just think about it. What if? What if this is all a setup for a treaty to be signed between the leaders, the government, and the people of color. Once again, you can find that in First Thessalonians five, chapter five, verse three. And you will understand what these images represent once you read those scriptures. What if? What if the treaty being signed? is the peace treaty between Israel and not those fake Jews over there in the land because they are not the people of God. If the people of God is supposed to sign a peace treaty, how are they going to sign one if they're not really the people of God? What if? Okay. One of the oldest testaments, one of the Old Testament names for the tribulation is the time of Jacob's trouble. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Jeremiah 37. Jacob meaning the whole house of Jacob, meaning all of his descendants. What if? What if this man, Martin Luther King Jr., who had a dream? Remember the title of this message, what I started out with, the image? What if dreams really do come true? What if this man was truly a prophet and one of his speeches that he brought forth he declared this in one of his speeches, many do not know anything about. And it states, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the Negro is still languished in the corners of America, of American society. And finds himself, listen very carefully, and finds himself exiled in his own land. What if? What if he was actually telling you this? And this is in the 1928 Webster Dictionary. It describes the American. What if they are actually telling you this? And you, have, you see what's written. Okay, all you got to do is look it up in the Webster's, Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Uh, look up the term American. Pertaining to America. A native of America. Originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races. Found here by the Europeans. But now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. The name American must always exalt pride and patriotism. This is where they get their pride and patriotism to. Okay, now if you look at these images, we grew up being taught that these are 
the Indian descent people. They are actually a mixture of Negro and Mongolian uh, DNA. If you go back and look into the stocks of the humans where they was mixed, the DNA was mixed. Okay, now, who of these two are close to the color of copper? That's a penny with Abraham Lincoln on it. Okay? What if? What if these are the ancient Indians who are of Negro descent? What if? This is a chief of African descent who is an Indian in America. What if this young man, who is also of Negro descent, who is an Indian, what if the Europeans that are up over us and our presidents and everybody that passed these laws and stuff are actually holding us hostage in our own land? What if Martin Luther King actually had a dream that all nations and races will come together, live together as friends, family. There was no racial divide. What if his dream became reality? What if you truly believe the word of God? What if you repent and be baptized and grafted into the branch of the original children of God, which were brought over into this land to be sold as cattle, slaves, work day and night. What if you actually went and looked at your grandmother birth certificate, your great grandmother or your great great, if you have these documents? What if you actually looked at them and on the race, you see Negro or Igbo. And later on in the years, they changed it to African-American color. You'll see different races on there because they was trying to get you farther and farther away from who you really are. What if? What if? You go through and look at the scriptures that I gave you pertaining to each image that I've shown you. What if this is all true? You guys be blessed. I shall join you once again. Have a good one.